Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bukumi. Thank you so much for stopping by. So, yes, we are braiding. Yep, I'm actually loving it. Like, I, I needed to take a break from braids, like, from weaves. So, so, I'm like, yes, I'm actually loving it so much. So, anyways, so in this video, this is my smoky eye glam look. It is so beginner friendly. It was so easy to achieve this look. Like, I really don't know how to explain it, but what I did and I, what everything I use, I'm going to put them in this video. And I, I tried my best to explain in detail of what I use. Like, this look was so easy, guys. Like, you would not believe. But anyways, if you want to keep on watching this, if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also hit the like button if you really like this video. I absolutely love it a lot. Like, a whole lot. So anyways, if you want to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. I am saying so I'm going to use my spoolie right now just to come my brow as just to put them in place um brow pencil um you guys know I always use it every time So I'm going to be using this concealer right now. Most of most times I use this for my brows. I really don't like using them to highlight anymore. I just use this for my brows. And for the bottom part, I'm going to be using the phone. And for the top part, I'm going to be using the beautiful bronze. This kind of melts into my skin so perfectly. So I really want that. I don't really want that very ash contour um highlight um concealer on the top part of my brows. So I like to use one very close to my shade, which is beautiful bronze. Right now I'm just putting concealer all over my eyelids. I'm using I'm going in with a lighter shade. I'm just gonna go in with that same brush I used and I'm just going to do this lightly. I found out that when you're doing your makeup, like even if you really don't know what you're doing, when you're doing things lightly, it kinda helps a lot. Anyways, to set this concealer right now, I'm going to be using my um benign powder in shade topaz. I'm going to be using this primer oil right now. It's called the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I'm just gonna color code using my LA Girl Pro um peach concealer. Wait, this is orange, right? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> the orange concealer, and I'm just gonna put this where I have this mark. foundation today I'm going to be using my um clinic foundation in the shade um 18p 18 clove and um this is the clinic super um clinic super balanced makeup tint and um I think this is the darker shade for this one and it sucks not to have a pump it doesn't actually have a pump but because I have eye pigmentation I bring down the foundation to my neck I gotta do this if not, I'm going to look like a crazy person. I'm going to look like a crazy person if I don't do that. So, I'm just going to do what you I think I'm not putting a little bit too much. Okay, no. Yeah, I need to chill. So, right now, I'm just going to use um, my Clinique brush right now. The Real Technique, the Real Technique brush. And it's called the, um, it's the Real Technique bronzing brush. But I use it for foundation, so. I just told I just told Jello first of put. <laughs> so right now I'm just using the back of my real technique sponge and I'm just pressing in this into my face just to give it a very eyebrow finish and make sure that everything is in place. For my concealer right now, I'm going to be using you already know if you don't know now if you haven't watched my last video or my last two videos, I'm going to be using the NYX HD concealer. Like, this is the bond. Like if you are a beginner and you really don't want to stress with your concealer. Trust me. And you want to do drugstore. 
you should get the next like it is so good it blends so well and so fast like I really don't know what's it like it is it is it's just so good like it is it is it's actually the NYX HD studio photogenic concealer and I'm in the shade oh it's I think it's not meg yes I'm actually in not meg shade yeah but I'm not sure if this is the darkest shade they have I'm gonna check I'm actually not sure though so right now I'm just highlighting under my eyes the bridge of my nose you guys know the drill forehead and actually like i want to tell you before this highlighting thing i was like you just do like why do you actually highlight like why do you contour and i just used to do it because it was you know some things where you just do makeup because it's meant to be done but it actually gives your face like that to be honest like because before i put this concealer right now i know i'm packing a lot because i'm talking too much and i get carried away god help me so um Yes, I was saying so um, Before you put like I feel like when you highlight it is it brings dimension to your face like if I like when I just put foundation I look like a very fat cheek okay, not just a round. But when I highlight and cut I feel like okay The face is in shape like everything is all structured, you know, make sure you're building here make sure everything is in place so Now to give my eyes an even base, I'm going to be so what I like to do before I put in any product in case I have full eyes, I like to put baking powder, I like to put my setting powder here. So whenever I'm done with my eye products, if I have any fallout, I just wipe it away with a brush. I recently got the Inglot one, but I feel that it's gonna make it so dark. So I, let me just I would like to first tone it down because I'm still gonna put the black eyeshadow. So I'm right now I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelids using my angled brush that I use. guys I have to apologize apparently while I was doing my eye I found out that I was actually not in focus I'm so pissed and there's nothing I can do I've come this far to I really don't know what to do so I'm going to show you a little bit of how it was I really was not in focus so I had to fix it and now so basically I'm just going to explain what I did so I put the black eyeshadow um the black gel liner I blended it in then I went in with my beige cosmetic um Beach Cosmetics um palette and I went in for a red shade which is what I put here and I blended it in and the brush I used was a very precise brush this brush right now when you're using um smoke, when you're doing your smoking you really, you really want to stay far from any fluffy brush because you really want to take control of whatever products you're putting in so I blended this all in into it then I went in to put a black eyeshadow so what happened was so what happens is every time when you put your black eyeshadow and you put your transition color when you blend in it you lose kind of focus of the black eyeshadow so you have to go back and forth putting in the black eyeshadow blending it in with your transition color then once you, you are happy with whatever results you are so right now I, I feel like the black eyeshadow is kind of ash so i'm going to go in with this fluffy brush and i use the morocco shade um so this is the palette i use for this part of my eyes here this one here so i'm just going to go in just slightly and I'm holding just the tip of my brush. Yes, in for the black eyeshadow I use, I made this fine. It was a sleek black eyeshadow. I use this one because it is very pigmented. Sleek eyeshadows, 
they are very pigmented and they are not so expensive. It's just difficult to get here in Ni here in Toronto, but I got them back in Nigeria. And it has a little bit of shimmers in it, but you really would not see it. But I'm still gonna go in and make it more defined. Just wait for it. Um, so basically, I think that's what I did. So um, I'm just gonna go back and forth until until you're pleased with whatever you did. So right now, I'm just gonna highlight my bow bones and um. To do that, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution um, highlighting palette, and this is how it looks here. So I'm just going to go in with this shade. It's pretty gold. It's a very bronzy shade, so I've just mixed both of this together. And um, can you see my people? Ooh, it is a very like. When I say gold brown, it's more gold actually, not bronze. Pardon me. So right now I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush now just to blend in the highlight and my own transition color. I'm gonna use this shade right now. I'm gonna put this all over my eyelids. See, like see the difference, like see what I'm telling you guys. Like this product is just the bomb. It is the bomb, like... So right now for my blush, I'm going to be using my MAC blush. You guys already know this is how it looks. And um, I am going to be using my blush brush. And for my blush brush today, it's from BH Cosmetics 126. My makeup revolution as usual. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips using my NYX pencil um, in the shade Express. So right now, for the outer part, I'm just going to go in with this um, lipstick, just around here, just darken my lips a little. And right now to have on my on very effect, I'm gonna use the NYX um lingerie um lip stain in the shape for set. So I'm now going to finish to set my whole face right now. I'm now going to go in using the Sans filter um not filter mix powder. And this is in the shade Mahogany. I'm going to set my face using my MAC Fix Plus. Yeah. 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 Yeah.